Welcome back, everyone. We are now on episode two of Tumba. Guys, let's get straight into it. Ooh, what's that? Oh, I can't get past it. It's a butterfly. I think. Ooh, gruff. Dwarf language level one acquired. Hi right, guys, we just triggered some butterflies and my memory is coming back slowly. And I just missed that. Not good. So, try to jump onto it. There we go. Leaf butterflies. Thousand. So, what I'm going to do is leaf butterfly acquired. Excellent. So, guys, for the sake of the next year, I'm just going to fast forward this part till we get as many as we can. I'll explain later. Alright guys, a few grey hairs later and we are finally done. Now, there are a total of 25 to be collected in this area alone. Now the reason why I've gone and done it now is because this area will get really dangerous later. And the fastest way to actually farm it is, you see this little slide here? You slide on both sides and that's how you get them to pop out really quickly. Right, let's crack on. Wee! Oh, hello, Mr. Dwarf Man. Can I see what you're saying yet? Grug, gruff, grug, glub, grug. Bite your head. Gah! Dwarf language 2, level 2 acquired. And let's go over here. Jump up. Climb, climb. Let's jump on these little things. For some reason I can't go in there just yet, which is fine. Let's just go this way. Ooh, looks like there's some spikes on the top of that, so let's try and avoid that as best as we can. Oh, of course I'm going to get hit. Right. Oh, there's another boing here. Yeah! Dwarf language level three. Straight in here. I don't think I can leave. I can't even understand what they're saying either. Right, well, look around. Well, if I can't understand what they're saying, there's no point talking to them. So let's go this way. Um, something about that. Wow! Dwarf language acquired. Awesome. Guys, we've got the dwarf language cleared. Right, what's this guy saying? Well, you can understand the dwarf language. We have a problem and don't know what to do. The dwarf forest was cast under a spell by the evil pigs. The flowers have wilted away and the trees have mutated. Several dwarves have not returned from a recent hunting party. We suspect that they might have been trapped by the giant spores and can't move. The doors to the hut in the forest have been opened, but the deep forest is being guarded. The guards won't let anyone pass until the missing dwarves have been found. Save the dwarves. For 500 points. So I'm going to save a bunch of people just for a small amount of points. Great. So yes, let's go find them. Now luckily because of the demo, I know roughly where they are. I might have to just look around and stuff. The path to the right leads to the elder's house where everyone's really busy. Okay, cool. Let's see what few guys he said. Help, help, some dwarves are missing. We open the doors to the hut in the forest and the path to the watchtower to go look. Excellent. What's going on in here? Well, what a cute looking boy you are. I'm afraid if you don't, you don't look very happy. I'm a doctor, so if you ever hurt yourself, come and see me. Excellent. Uh, what's this pink thing? Hmm, grum. What am I going to do without the... Oh, hello, I guess I didn't notice you walk, walk up. If you'll excuse me, I'm trying to deal with the problem here. I had something very special in the forest. But I'm afraid to go get it because of all those pigs. Oh, it's very important to me. I don't know what I'll do without it. Sure. Nothing in there. Have you seen a child? A small child? He went to go look for flower seeds at the watchtower and hasn't come back. I'm really getting worried. What if something happened? Okay. The lost child. Awesome. So, yep. Yeah, let's crack on. So there's two ways we can actually go right now. We can actually go to the next area, or we can go back on ourselves and go through where I couldn't get through. So I think we'll make a start with this side over here. 
trying to get rid of some of these because I believe there's some dwarves in here. My memory is good. And then that one. Oh, six dwarves remaining. Excellent. So we'll need to get these uh, spores, I guess. I don't know what the hell they are. Mushrooms? God knows. If you know what they are, let me know in the comments. And we'll just get rid of these. Hopefully they spawn back. Nothing there. Nothing there. Five dwarfs remaining. Excellent. Oh, that pig. I don't like pigs. Nothing that one. Anything here? Nothing in that one. Just an apple. I'll leave the apple there in case we need it later on. That. Obviously, guys, we've also got a box as well, which we should really be getting to be fair. But I can't just get it just yet. Maybe I can, I'm not sure. Um I don't think I'll be able to get it from there. There's only one way to get that. So what we'll do is we're gonna go over this way. We're gonna try and kill two birds with one stone. Oh, it's a pup! Right, and just ignore that for a minute. Okay, there's a barrel here. Whoa! Didn't expect that. Uh, I'm just going to avoid that barrel for now because I'm not entirely sure what to do with it. I believe there is something that's going to happen later on with that. And, ooh, we've got some four dwarves. Excellent. The apple up there too. Just avoid that for a second. Um, damn caterpillar. I don't like those. Two apples. And we've got a bucket. Awesome. Something else there too, look. Oof, just missed that. What is that? It's like a ball or something. Let's just try again. All the villagers have retu haven't have returned yet. I can't let you go any further. Fair enough. One crystal ball acquired. Excellent. I believe we have got everything. Oh my god, I don't like this thing. I'm gonna avoid that again. Right, and I heard a puppy walking next to the spores. I don't think he can get down. Okay, excellent. And we do need to go back a bit further back, but I'm just going to avoid that just for now. I'm going to rescue this puppy. Now, guys, I remember this, like, in the back of my mind, just from the demo. But it's going to get to a point where I'm not sure what to do. Oh, I just missed it. Just missed it. So I'm going to have to uh, try one more time. There we go. Can we get it this time? Yes! The wooden boomerang. That's going to really help me out. It's going to be much better than the uh, blackjack because I believe it's a lot faster. A lot faster. Let's go equip that. A lot faster. Fast attacking. So I'm just going to go over here. See if we can drop this puppy off somewhere. I don't remember exactly which hut it is, so we'll have to have a look. Nope. Let's take it to the doctor. Well, what do we have here? Uh-oh, this little guy looks hurt. Let me take a closer look. Hmm, this will take some time to heal. Why don't you leave the pup here with me for a while? Don't worry, I'll take good care of him. What's his name? What? It doesn't have one? Come on, you can think of something. Baron? All right, Baron it is. Baron the Doggo, a man's best friend. Healing herbs will heal any kind of wound, but they only grow on Phoenix Mountain. It's too dangerous to go there now. The winds are too strong. Healing herbs for Baron. Awesome. So, I'm going to speak to her again. She said she can heal me. Healing herbs will only grow on Phoenix Mountain. We've already read that. And the winds are too strong now. Yep. Okay, so uh, this is going to be in an area where we can't go just yet. That's fine. So, we're going to go carry on continuing rescuing the dwarves. So let's do this. I'm sure there's like two here. Or is it three? I can't remember. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to avoid those spiders. I really don't like spiders. And... 
Ooh, water drops. I just remembered now. Ooh. Oh, come on. Are you being serious? Right, okay, so there's water drops here. And guys, we've actually got a bucket. I'm hoping we can just use that there. Should work. Fingers crossed. Yes! But my memory is good. Um, right, okay. And let's jump on this. Boing! Got that. Oh, jumping pads, okay. I'm going to use them, definitely. Let's go jumping pants. Where are these dwarves? Oh, there we go. There's one there. Three dwarves remaining. Awesome. Ooh, it's something there. There's something up there. We'll have to get that later. We've got some more water dropping too. That's another one rescued. Awesome. Got a three full. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Water drop here too, so we'll have to get that. Excellent. So we've got a bucket of water. Just kill that. All of the villagers have not returned yet. I can't let you go any further. That's fine. So let's go up here. Die. Spider. Which I don't like. Right, come over here. And I'm just going to jump over here. I can't get down. I was looking for flower seeds, but I couldn't find any. I just want to go home. <laughs> You'll take me home? Thanks! Hi right, guys. So that's that little child that was lost. We've got him too. And we're just going to go up here. Jump on this spider. Knock it out. And we climb up here. Can't really do anything right now, but we can go up here. I just don't remember how to do it. There we go. Telescope acquired. First attempt. Look and see. What we'll do is we'll just use the telescope right here. So it looks like a little hideout. Look and see. Clear. Okay, excellent. Like a little hideout. I don't know why you'd uh, make it into a pig shape. I guess the pigs are just stupid. But if you wanted a hiding spot, you wouldn't want to, you know, say that, oh, look, it's a hiding spot. Hey! Oh, nice. A mirror. I will right, we'll definitely get that. And... Make sure we get these two. Jump straight to the left and get this ball too. That's the second crystal ball, crystal ball that we got. A dirty mirror acquired. Magic mirror. Awesome. And we'll drop this child off. And then I believe the last two dwarves are near the start of where we entered. It's two, three, four, five. There's six or seven. I can't remember. Uh, so you're the one who helped my boy. You have a very kind heart. Here, please take this. It will help you. Oh, nice. We've got some cheese. A lost child. I don't know why I'd need cheese. I mean, I like cheese in real life, but I don't know why Tumble would need it. And let's go back out. Let's go get the rest of the dwarves. Let's try and avoid these pigs. We got hit by him last time. And... Whoa. Jump over here. So guys, you remember how I was saying about the leaf butterflies earlier? Well, this is why. A slight problem. If we did it now. So I'll get rid of this spore thing first. I'm going to call it a marshmallow because it looks like a bit like a marshmallow. Way. There's a little fire burning there. It's one dwarf done. Let's 
one more left somewhere. Let's try and find it. So the fire burning too, and what do we have on ourselves, guys? All dwarves rescued, nice! Uh, we actually do have a... Whoa! See what I mean, guys? This is why I wanted to collect the leaf butterflies first. Um... Sorry if I left that apple too. Wow, leave me alone, please. Right, guys, I'm just going to use this bucket of water on here. To put out this fire. I don't know why you'd put a... Uh, start a fire in a forest. A dry forest, especially. I've just got some baked yam. I'm going to be dropping this off somewhere soon. If I can just survive! Up here. And... And back straight to the dwarf village now that we've rescued all of them. Hey, party time. Thank you. The dwarf elder is very pleased. You're so brave. You made the entire dwarf village happy. Yay. May I shake your hand? Social distancing, mate. I think the pink hair is cool! And last but not least... You're a real local hero! Nice, nice, nice. So, before we want to go see the Elder, I want to speak to this pink. I have something very special in the forest, but I'm afraid it, to get it because of all those pigs. It was very important to me, I don't know what I'd do without it. Alright, well, what do we put out? Put the fire out? That's going to be this bait yam. Hopefully. Wow! Hey! You found it! Thank you so much! Oh, it's coming now. Put my finger. It's cooking. I think she just trumped. Dirty pink. Phew! What a relief. I'm sorry. I just couldn't help it. I just had so much gas, I felt like I was going to explode. Thanks a lot. By the way, I'm not quite sure what this is, but... Why don't you take it? I've been told it's something very unusual. Vitality Max plus one acquired. Excellent. Well, what can I say, guys? Someone farts and you get a life boost. I thought you uh, lose a life. Now loading. And this guy saying, oh, you saved the villagers? Thank you so much. Save the dwarves. Clear. Dwarf Elder is very pleased. You should talk to him. Awesome. Let's go talk to the Elder. Which I believe it's that blue guy over there. I'm the Elder's favourite apprentice. Ah, the courageous young man. I am the Dwarf Elder. Dwarf Elder? Clear! On behalf of everyone in this village, please allow me to thank you for saving our friends and family. As you can see, our village does not have much, but... I hear from the hundred year old wise man that you are looking for the evil pigs. Awesome. Ah, yes, here it is. Blue evil pig bag acquired. Nice. A hundred flower forest. This is the evil pig bag for the pig that cast a spell on this village. Take it. The bag will help you find the evil pigs. When you're near the pig's hideout, the bag will reveal the evil pig gate, the entrance to his hideout. But remember the evil pigs do not hide in the places where they have cast their evil spells. Also, each pig has only one bag that can seal them away. In other words, there are a total of seven evil pig bags. One for each evil pig. The evil pig bags should be near the places that have been cast under a spell. Find the bags and you will find the evil pigs. Be careful. You must not underestimate the power of the evil pigs. There's no need to guard the deep forest anymore. You may pass as you please. Well first, try Phoenix Mountain. It used to be a really peaceful mountain, but now there's there's awful storms. It must be the work of the evil pigs. 
Phoenix Mountain. Awesome. What do you want? Have you been to Charity Square in the forest? What about you? I'm a guard. What am I guarding? I can't tell you. Oh, come on. I just saved the town. Just saved your family and friends and you don't want to tell me? What about you? I'm giving an eye on the thief I caught. Mm -hmm. Where is he? I can't tell you that. That's fine. But we'll find out later. We'll go down here and just have a quick check. Where are you a great debt? Make yourself at home. Did you see that weird looking thing with the letters AP on it? Yeah, I did. I'll just ignore the last one. Alright guys. Uh, what we'll do next is, we will... Let's go this way. Ow, that hurt. here guys so at this point playing the demo this is where it ends whoa okay you know what I've had enough of you there we go at least it ain't gonna hurt now and what we're gonna do guys is we're just going to push this barrel over down there where the barrel rolls now, apparently that's gonna get to a point later where when we're able to swim, we'll be able to go down there and see what it is, basically. Let's go up here. Charity wings are quiet. The broken fountain. Just looking at the beautiful figures makes my soul feel cleansed. Oh, nice. Go this way. Grand past here is like a slide. The locals call it the leaf slider. I'm sorry, but I can't let you go any further. It's a little dangerous. Crying won't get you anywhere. Leaf slider. 1,000. Um, over to this side. I saw a monkey named Charles in the village of Orbeginners. He said he was so hungry he couldn't move. I helped him out. What about you? Charity Fountain is in the middle of the square, but it doesn't work. Okay. This is a charity square. Sure. Guys. Let's just go up here and see what he wants. The area below the watchtower is built with wood and isn't very sturdy. If you hit the side of the platform hard enough, you might break it. Okay. That's locked. What about you? What do you want? Did you come here to see the charity fountain? It'll bring you luck for sure. Well, maybe. Right. Well, guys. I'm going to call it there for episode 2. And, uh... Yeah, I'm just going to save the data. And, uh, hopefully, guys, I will have to catch you on the next episode. And, uh... We'll have some more fun. <laughs>